Markets across the world are experiencing high volatility. From Japan's Nikkei to the US's Nasdaq and pretty much every other index in between. A massive sell-off was witnessed for three consecutive trading sessions. Why? Let's understand. Bank of Japan, Japan's central bank, raised interest rates by 0.25% on 31st of July. Remember, this is only the second rate hike since 2008, and doing so has affected one of the most popular investment strategies in the world, called the carry trade. So what exactly is carry trade? Simply put, an investor first borrows money from a country with low interest rates and a weak currency, say Japan and then converts the borrowed yen into US dollars. These dollars are then invested either in stock market or US bonds to churn up a high return. Now, since Japan has a near zero interest rate since 2008, investors saw it as an ideal source of borrowing money. But then, Bank of Japan upped interest rates. So what happened then was an appreciation of 2% in Japanese yen against the US dollar. This means that anyone who borrowed X amount of money from Japan will now have to return 2% more. So, a billion dollars worth yen borrowed from Japan will mean another 20 million will have to be returned to Japan. Plus now, an increased cost of capital by 0.25%, the new interest rate in Japan. Some estimates suggest that the yen carry trade runs in a few trillion dollars. And some of these investors are now trying to sell their investments prematurely just to pay back their borrowings in Japan, which just got more expensive. As a result, a selling pressure that dragged global markets down in the past three days. So what happens next? Well, Japan's stock markets are considered by many analysts as a bellwether for the global economy. Volatility in Japan suggests, globally too, volatility will sustain. Adding to the doomsday prophecy is the fear of the US slipping into recession after the latest jobs report shows unemployment rate climbed to 4.3%. The stress in the conflict zones, including the Middle East, are also likely to keep the uncertainty in the stock markets around the world up and ticking. 